Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. We're moments away from our next game in the season. Uh, one on one record for us so far. So I've not touched the ego. I'm leaving it alone. Because the last game was so close that it feels like this might already be the sweet spot. Uh, but we'll see how we uh, how we break down there. Uh, Nancy uh, Sue 360 picked up some training and is now fluent in Simlish. <laughs> Last time around, brilliant, yeah, great. Uh, and uh, we've got player developments available for uh, who's that? Cookie Peaches Wallace. That's that's pretty that's pretty solid. However, it's an awful lot of money, and Cookie is forty years of age, so it's maybe not a great piece of investment. However, player development is available for Burt Violence, and uh, and I'm gonna I, I think I might actually give that a go. Uh, where are we? Burt, 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 Burt. No, see, we've got the bot farm. Chubbs is 41. I'm not spending money on players who are over the age of 35. Doesn't seem worth the effort. Uh, Richard Yardline. I mean, that's that's all good. But again, he's 38. So, no. Uh, here's Terry Partizan, who's 25. Not bad. Uh, 838,000 for additional power. 15% chance of an additional 5 and a 15% chance to lose the uh, the disadvantage that she's currently packing. That's not a bad investment, but it's very expensive, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, and here's Bert, who's just picked up the opportunity to spitball, uh, which is going to give him extra 3 on his junk pitches, better accuracy. Great chance of, uh, of picking up more junk pitch ability, but he could pick up a negative. I'm doing it. Let's go. Uh, right, yeah, better junk, yeah, better accuracy, and no, didn't get the extra junk pitches, and we're in the positive, so we didn't get the falls behind, and didn't get the extra pitch. Okay, well, I mean, look, either way, he's a better player now, so hooray. Good times. Uh, with, I've, I've I had a quick through the, I've, had, I've been through the three agents, and at the moment, there is no one really worth having. Uh, C plus is the highest rated player we'll get right now. The only change I'd make would probably be dumping Nancy Sue 360 and picking up a C plus player instead. But to be honest, that's not even, is it? So, uh, so no. Let's play the game. It's the roadies. And uh, Bernard Dunk is already showing a little bit of sign of fatigue going on there. But not so much that he's going to stay out of the game. No. Valerie Hammock is a mind gamer. Oh, then she should definitely be our first batter. Yeah, I didn't realise that. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We, Because that means that she has the potential for uh, for more on bases that Cindy can then potentially pop one in there. You never know. Uh, no changes, but uh, they've got bubbly merchandise on their uh, on their team. No, we have. Oh, yeah, so we do. That's your lineup, you fool. I'm going to play some baseball. It's a home game for us uh, at Colonial Plaza, and uh, the budget roadies have come to town uh, in their uh, pretty disgusting uniforms, has to be said. Yeah. Pitching for us today is Richard Boom, and we'll be looking at Vaughan Clothiers as their first batter, and he's in a, he's in a very good mood. Well, good for him, but that's only because he's a first pitch slayer. Oh, right. Well, in which case... Do what you were suggesting in the last game and put the first pitch in a bad place. There you go. Right, that's your advantage blown right there. That's so easy to exploit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, that's, a, that's a terrible trait. Yep. But, uh, but there we go. Right, okay. Come on, Rich. Let's see what we're working with here. Uh, I mean, obviously, this guy's going to be a good, pit, uh, good batter. But uh, Hammock has that. We'll wang it over to first base. Shandy Worth was picking it up, and that's out number one. Here's Christine Lemonade. Only batting 200 this season. The stats suggest that she should be doing better than that, but I'm not going to complain too much about it, because if she continues to play badly, this works well for us. Obviously, I've got to get my pitching on point, but, I mean, we will do. Yeah, keep them coming. Yeah, low inside. That's where we like it, typically. Oh, we almost managed to grab it off the pitcher there. That would have been good. You don't see that very often, the pitcher actually trying to do some fielding, uh, unless it's with their face. Or bathing suit area. Here's Joe Scott, done. Well, we'll see if he's done in a moment. They've got a runner on first now, uh, after, the, uh, after the muffed catch attempt. 
I mean, to be fair, I don't think we were going to stop it anywhere else without giving up the uh, without giving up the base anyway. So, you know, what's the detail? Uh, here's the change up. You uh, yeah, almost had you, but didn't. Okay, and then do something radically different. Oh, that's hittable. It is, but it, it's hit somewhere wonky. All right, keep them coming. That's a good throw. Nicely done. And that's a strikeout. Boom, starting his record. Here's Tippitude Williams in a very positive frame of mind and a very positive moustache to go along with it. All right, okay. That's all right, we've got two outs. Flipping out, you threw that one a bit high. Catcher had to stand up. Yeah, all right. Sorry, catcher. Uh, ball two. Uh, Rich, stop. No, no, Rich, you're trying too hard. Mate, mate, you're trying too hard. I pressed the button before I was ready there and uh, and gave up the walk. Well, that's disappointing. Here's Capsicum Disco. That's where she ended up. Uh, she is a tough out. She is an ace executor. Oh, is she? Yeah. All right. Well, let's just throw the ball. They've got runners on first and second. They've got two outs. This could actually work in our favour if we can get an out here. Uh, because uh, they'll, have, they'll have gone through their better batters without turning that into anything. And there it is. No runs. All right. Come on, team. Pull it together. Up on the mound uh, is uh, is your first look at their pitcher, who has a name, which is Seamus uh, Ventisank. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. His accuracy is maybe lacking a smidge. Yeah, but that's the mind, the mind games there contributing as well. Strike one. Three balls already. Strike two, allegedly. All right. And Valerie's got that one. And sent it packing. <laughs> Used up six pitches. It's a home run. Perfect. Uh, 428 feet for that one. And that's her first of the year. Valerie very much settling in at first bat. Uh, here's Cindy. Had a bit of a nothing game for us last week. Uh, so hopefully she can, you know, find a way back into the stable uh, where there's a hay bale waiting. I'm, why am I comparing her to a horse? She's anything but horse-like. Nice hit, but wrong. Two balls, one strike so far. Strike two. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. And that's got nothing attached to it in the slightest. She's going to run out to first. Here's Shandy Worthless. A home run, his own re only real contribution to the team so far, and uh, and I'll tell you something, he's he's likely to be jeopardising his position in the lineup. I think he might end up sinking down the order a little bit. Although that's promising. Is that another one? Yeah, yeah, that's another one. That's another one. Put that one in the box, and uh, and send it back to where it came from. Worthless. He points to the roof. I'm not sure there's anybody on the roof, but if they were, they'd be pointing at him. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. Veteran player, uh, having a solid, solid run of things in the last game. Is she going to continue that motif in this one? There's ball two. Yeah. There's ball three. Yeah, this pitcher is not going to be around long. No. Wait for it. There we go. And uh, an easy run there. It's all good. Here's Chubbs Beaver. On the fence about Beaver at the moment. Haven't decided if he's good or if he's not. Uh, but he's a baseball player and he plays for us. And he's at the illustrious shortstop position. BDP having a long history of exceptional shortstops who have left the team uh, due to contractual obligatory reasons. Yeah. There's the full count. Alright, here we go. No way was that out. No way. No way was that out. Oh. Okay, well, two outs now. And here's Richard Yardline. We've got our runner on first. And we'll we'll see if we can't turn this into anything worthwhile. Obviously, a couple of home runs doesn't do anyone any harm. Yardline pings one up to centre field. That's the stuff. There we go. Runners now first and second. And uh, and we'll be looking to Terry Partizan, who, uh, who is our uh, our last best hope to turn this inning into glory. Frankly, it's it's relatively glorious already, but uh, 
partisan, as you know, is uh, is a home run specialist. Is she though? No, no, not today. No, no, she's out. Oh well, yeah, these things happen. At the end of one, it's two nothing. BDP. Horace Diamonds next up to bat. He's only doing 167, and his stats indicate he should be doing quite a lot more than that. Um, okay, he's. Uh, we've got an elite curveball. All right, curve it straight at his face. Flipping egg. Yeah, it was only only due to the curve. It didn't hit him in the bonds. The accuracy is not quite on there, is it? No, it's not. Okay, don't don't walk too many players, Rich. Thank you. Valerie. Got it. Chucks it. Puts a lot of mustard on that one. And it gets over to Shandy Worthless for out number one. Good work. Here's Ray-Ban benefits. Uh, she's a little hack. Okay. Well, she does look quite dainty. Uh, but uh, does she pack the power in that bat? No. <laughs> no. Not with a swing like that, she doesn't. No. That one, no. Uh, well, yeah. But, I mean, it's going in the wrong direction. Uh, you, you can't say, oh, yeah, definitely got skills. When uh, when the ball has gone flipping downtown, that one's gone longish, but uh, should be well within range for Cookie, and she's got that one. His pink Capricorn uh, is a stealing specialist. I I'm not kidding. Yeah, flipping. Look at that stance. I'm not entirely sure that pink Capricorn is entirely human. Uh, but uh, but there it is anyway. It's the sunglasses as much as anything. No one's going to get in there for that one. No, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Let, the, let the ball boy pick it up and chuck it back. That one's fouled off. All right. Time for some of that elite curveball action, Rich. All right. And Worthless has it. And that will be the third out. This is a positive start for BDP, but it, a lot depends on what we can do at bat now. Here's Bernard Dunk. Showing a small amount of fatigue. God, he's got good hair. It doesn't he just? He does have the good hair, does Bernard Dunk. And, uh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay, ball one. Strike one. There's another ball. And there's no real reason that, that, that Seamus, the pitcher here, is uh, should be throwing quite so wildly. But there it is. Dunk gets himself on base through just standing there. And Richard Booms next up to bat. He's got a good look about him as well. He does. He does. Boomy. He's, uh, he's got the reflective sunglasses. He's got the magnificent tash. He's got absolutely no batting skills. But uh, with three balls and no strikes gone against him so far, one might very well suggest he doesn't need any batting skills. You with the purple beard. How's that working out for you? Here's Valerie Hammock. We've got runners at first and second. No outs. And uh, Valerie Hammock starts working her mind games. She just sits there glaring. And then occasionally a little smirk. Yeah, mind games. Mind games. However, that one didn't want mind games. What that one wanted was a really good hit. And it's going to be a double, probably. Run, Val, run. There we go. And there's another run batted in. Valerie Hammock putting on a show for us from first at bat. Uh, here's Cindy Vapid. We've got runners on second and third. Still no outs at the moment. And um, we, we could be looking at a short uh, term of service for Venti Sank. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I mean, you know, anybody's guess at the moment. What the what's going into the mind of the opposing management formation? Cindy, there, just no, oh, Cindy. Oh, okay, the runner to home was out, but we but, but Cindy made it to first. Arguably, they could have got a double play off that one, but they didn't. So there you go. Runners at the corner. Shandy Worthless at bat. All right, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, Worthless. Make it so. Make it so. Two balls, one strike. Shandy worthless. Shandy worthless. It's ball three. Okay. Worthless Shandy. Smack. Centre field. Bases are not loaded because we've just got a runner in. Hey. Good times. Uh, runners on one and two. Here's Cookie Peaches Wallace. She got a walk. Has she got anything else for us? No, I bet she has. She's one of our better players. Uh, actually, it's a little its a little, little early to say whether she's one of our better players. No, it really isn't. Look at her numbers. All right, yeah. She's one of our better players. 
That one, however, has not really gone her way. That's a double play, and that's the end of that. Uh, but another two runs batted in, and BDP have themselves a nice little four-run lead after two innings. Here's Seamus, the pitcher, and he, he can hit, allegedly. But he's not going to get the chance. They're bringing in Cumulo Sawhorse to take his place. Yep, they've, they've dumped their duff pitcher as quickly as they possibly could. All right, then... Cumulo, let's see if you've got uh, if you've got the darts. Have you uh, have you brought your emeralds? That was straight down the middle. That would have been the one to swing at, Sunshine, because the next one's going to be rubbish. Uh, and then I'm going to follow it up with my dubious fastball. There you go. <laughs> oh, you fell for it, you book. Here's Vaughn Clothiers. Uh, opening batter didn't do anything with his opening bat from opening batter. Oh, he, he thought that might be a thing. Oh, I didn't. And he's got a piece of that. Uh, Cookie's grabbed it. Chucks to second. One on base. Here's Christine Lemonade. Uh, hoping to follow up from a successful at bat last time around. But uh, ultimately the inning resulted in nothing positive. Which is uh, good. Yeah, yeah it is. Whoa, flipping it. That one was out there like it meant it. Uh, probably did mean it. Yeah. It's a sinky. No, no, it didn't fall for the sinky. All right, try the change up. It's a dubious one, but we'll try it. That one has not got the distance. I swear. I swear it's not got the distance. Rich Yardline has got a piece of it, and by which I mean he's got all of it in his glove in a way that dictates that he's caught the ball. Uh, here's Joe Scott Dunn, runner on first two outs now. Dunn. Again, good-looking numbers, but hasn't managed to execute in the season so far, this being the third game. Uh, that one's going to go straight to Cindy, who will throw to first, and that's that then. Good, Sawhorse is out. Tulip Banter, no less, is coming in to pitch against her former team. Not that the former team looks anything like the former team. Uh, just looks like some bunch of people. Here's Chubsy Beaver, and uh, he's... Uh, is he is he confident? Well, I mean, it's anybody's guess. Chubsy's popped that one straight up. Yeah, can't tell if I like him or not yet. No, I can't. I, I, I think he's rapidly falling out of favour. Here's Richard Yardline, single from his first, uh, and well, we'll see what we get. What are Chillip's numbers like? Her accuracy's not stellar, uh, but she's a pretty decent pitcher, all told. Whoa, hey, whoa, gently. That's more like it, but it's going to be caught. All right, okay, we can live with that. Here's Terry Partizan, got everybody out from her first time around. Uh, maybe this time around she won't get everybody out. I mean, well, it's only her to get out, and we've got two outs already. But BDP are always at their most dangerous when they've got two outs. Total nonsense. Shut up, it's part of the mythos. Three balls in a row. And that one looked dubious as well. Partizan getting a stroll. Uh, she'll trot up to first as Bernard Dunk, uh, spokesperson for L'Oreal, comes in to try and uh, try and salvage a bit here. I'm only saying salvage, of course, because we haven't got any runs yet. If we didn't have runs, that would be a different matter. Uh, but we have got runs, and therefore salvage is arguably the wrong word. Dunk has put something into it. But he's given it too much hang time. He's going to be caught. Good effort, but ultimately paid off very, very little. And at the end of three, it is 4-0 in favour of BDP. Here's Tippitude Williams to get us underway in the fourth. Good tash. It is a good tash. Yeah. Okay. That one's gone skyward. Anybody's guess where. Bernard Dunks underneath it, though. And it's a catch. Oh, what a disaster for them. Here's uh, Capsicum Disco. Coming from first base. Uh, ended up being being quite a favoured player on the old BDP team. Uh, due to uh, due to reliability of getting hits. And even getting the occasional home run. Which was a surprise to an awful lot of people. Arguably including herself. Uh, that one's gone out to Cindy. That'll be out two away now and here's Horace Diamonds and uh, Horace Ghost King okay uh, 
And, uh, again, an, an underperforming player for the roadies. Um, but, you know, it'll, it'll be what it probably is. That's uh, ball one, strike one. Yep, nice. And, uh, and so far, Richard Boom doing a solid job. Which is what you want from your starting pitcher. Uh, meanwhile, we're into, the, we're into the foul zone now. So let's just start chucking things away. Yeah, now that one's got miles. Uh, try him on a change-up. No. Uh, try another one of these. There it is. Change-up followed by fastball, son. Yeah, that's my other trick. Fastball followed by change up. That's that's the up. That's never mind. Good. All right. Okay. Here's, here is Richard Boom. Scored himself a walk uh, when we saw him before. What are we going to see now? Well, hang on and we'll find out. There's strike one. And that's a lovely hit from the pitcher. Oh, I love it when a hitcher, the hitcher gets a pitch. The pitcher gets a hit. Oh, I love that too. Uh, Valerie Hammock now. She's been about twice. She's got a home run and a double. Uh, this is uh, the mind games coming to fruition. And uh, the pitcher is now going to steal second. <laughs> Flaming wild pitch there. Uh, but it worked anyway. That's, uh, that's good. It is good. Strike one. Ball one. Yep. Yep. The mind games. The mind games. Ball three. Okay. Mind games. Didn't need to hit that one, and it's not gone far enough. No. Back, 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 back. It was cheeky, but it was not going to work. Uh, no. no. Tried to treat it as a sacrifice. Here's Cindy. She's 0 for 2. Was disappointing last week. Has been disappointing this week. All right. Strike one. All right, come on, Sinj, you can do this. Come on, Sinj. I, I know, a low bounce to the centre field. You know, that pit... No, 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 no. That's, that's what we like from you. That's another ball. That's not going to do it. And there's out number two, but we do now have a runner in scoring position on third. Shandy Worthless, who is uh, who's having a game so far. Uh, in position to uh, to build on our score, Strike. potentially. Strike. Strike two. Those are two good pitches there. Bit low. And he's uh, he panged that one out to the side. And that one. Yeah. Throw something sort of middle-ish, would you? No. Oh well. No, it's okay. It's panged out to the side again. That's a ball. Yeah. I'm not just swinging at everything. And that's not going to do it. That will be the third out. BDP unable to build on their score. Uh, but a couple of couple of decent, maybe, there. As we enter the fifth inning, BDP still up four to nothing. Here's Ray-Ban benefits. Uh, the way the scoring goes in this game, though, I wouldn't say that a four-run lead is anything to be certain about. Cindy will grab that. And that's another out. Good stuff. Here's Pink Capricorn. 0 oh, for 1 from this mutant's first at bat. Oh, it's the helmet. I th the helmet-sunglasses combo is uh, is making me see mutation where perhaps none exists. Ah, yes. Okay. Yeah. Nope, that one's, that one's very foul. And uh, here's that elite curveball that we've been looking for. Worthless. Caught it. Lovely. Here's Tulip Banter, the pitcher. Are they keeping her in? They are keeping her in. Uh, in which case, Rich, keep it simple, mate. Keep it simple. Strike one. Do another one of those. Yeah. There you go. And then be obvious. Oh, okay. No, you would have thought you would have would have foxed her on the change up there. But no, she got a good connection to that one. Sadly, it didn't go far enough and it was caught easily in right field. Uh, BDP bringing out Cookie Peaches Wallace, who just made that catch. Uh, 0 for 1, but did get a walk. All right, Cookie, let's be having you. Strike one. Yeah. And that one's in the dirt. 
Okay. Strike two, but debatable. Definitely no debates going on there. Oh, dearie me. I had a feeling there was a sink coming there, but there wasn't. And that was out easily. Uh, Cookie having nothing to contribute to the game. Here's Chubbs Beaver. Chubbs, I don't want to don't want to throw you off your game at all. But unless you get a hit... Oh, flipping it. If you don't get a hit here, I hate you. All right? You're loathsome. That one is not good. No, he's, he's skyballed that one. And it's an out. Right, I know what I'm doing with my batting order. Uh, here's Richard Yardline. All right, Rich. Yeah. Yeah, just take it. Take your time. Take it easy. There's no rush to any of this. Uh, their first reliever. We're already tiring her out. All right, didn't, didn't fancy that one. No! Oh. oh my! Oh dear! Well, a uh, uh, fifth inning for BDP there, littered with bad decision making, uh, and it's still four nothing as we head into the sixth. Uh, Von Cloth is one of the only players to have managed to find some brightness in the day. Is uh, is going to lead us off? Okay, all right. Uh, Boomy is still looking pretty fit so far. That's good, because we have had a couple of games back-to-back -back now where we've had to use a lot of bullpen. Uh, and that's that's down to the amount of runs being scored. More runs being scored means more pitches being thrown. Means uh, more, more tired pitches. That was not what I intended to do. Shut up. Uh, yeah, trying to give me pitching advice. I do all right. All right. If it's a weak part of my game then it's a weak part of my... I, I see no need to change it. Plus, I just struck that dude out, so shut your noise. Here's Christine Lemonade. Uh, the other bright part of the uh, of the offence for uh, the roadies. Oh, that's annoyed me, that. They're telling me I need to improve it. Just shut up. Well, you're throwing quite a lot of pitches down the middle. I'm throwing a lot of pitches just wildly. Uh, but it's working, so hush. Yeah. Whee! No, you can complain all you like. The referee was on my side. Here's Joe Scott Dunn. We've we've been hyping Joe Scott Dunn so far, but he's not he's not delivered on the hype in the slightest. Oh, look at that one! Just a demon of a pitch. Just a demon of a pitch. That one, he's panged it into the crowd, and I think there is every chance that he goes for the change up. Perfect placement. There it is. Good times, good work. Great pitching from Richard Boom so far. Uh, I've got no complaints with regard to his performance. Here's Terry Partizan. And uh, we're 47 pitches into uh, uh, Tulip's uh, afternoon. Not forgetting, of course, that she is a reliever. Uh, Terry there will get on base. Lovely job. Lovely job. Here's Bernard Dunk. Uh, a walk is what he's contributed. But arguably, so much more. Tulip Banter's done for the day. Gulag Fremantle's coming on his place. Solid-looking reliever. Uh, very accurate. And, uh, and a, a nice touch in uh, junk pitches as well. He's going to try and make some headway. Yeah. Is he going to get any headway? Well, time will tell. Two balls, one strike. Very accurate pitcher. But we've stuck that one in a difficult place. It'll only be a single out. Advancing the runner to second. Here is Boomy. And we'll keep him in. He's, uh, he is currently, mood-wise, on fire. Good times. Uh, but obviously, this is the uh, pitcher versus pitcher prestige bat. There was nothing wrong with that swing. That was solid. That one, however, was, uh, well, ill-judged. The ball was a little on the high side. Uh, but losing your pitcher is not the end of the world in the at-bat section of the game. Here's Valerie Hammock. Now, can she get into the head of Gulag Fremantle? Can she tweak those synapses and make him throw this all away into a pile of rubbish? Three balls in a row. And there's the fourth. 
She's walking again like she did last summer. And here comes Cindy, who is clinging on to a 300 batting average, having gone 0 for 3 today. All right, Cindy. Uh, time to activate your special your special powers, by which I mean the ability to hit the ball a really flipping long way. Two balls, one strike. There's strike two. Well, she she put a good turn of speed on it, but it went straight to the fielder, and Cindy's gone again. Uh, six innings away now, and it's still 4 nothing. BDP's early scoring having made the difference between these two teams. Tippitude Williams got himself a walk last time around, which is virtually unheard of uh, from any BDP pitcher. Uh, and that's what I mean when I say that the accuracy stat doesn't apply to me quite as much as it does do the old AI pitchers. Uh, it still applies, obviously, because uh, but it doesn't. No. All right. He hasn't, he hasn't fallen for the change-up. No, this... No, he's, he's stuck one over there. Look, oh, I mean, I, if I have to come and get it, it's a right pain in the bum. All right, well, that's a base hit. Uh, now, I mean, we've got a good lead right now, but it is, it's not, it's, it is precarious. Uh, four runs is not a difficult, uh, not a difficult task in the slightest, uh, based on the performance in the first two games. You're anticipating the curveball. That's because we're good at them. That's why we keep throwing them. What do you do with this one? Uh, she's a tough out. Uh, all right. Well, just throw something she might swing at. Yeah. All right. Follow it, follow it with a change up. Cindy can't get there. And that'll be two runners on base now with no outs here at the top of the seventh. If we were thinking a change of pitching, we don't need to. No, he's still in, he's still in good form. It's... it's his stamina's up. His numbers are still sound. Okay. There's no reason to take him out at the moment. Uh, except for the fact that, that the uh, opposition have finally started to put some play together. Two strikes now. All right. Try it. Let's see if we can't get one. Come on, Rich. You need the confidence boost. That's perfect. Ish. This is good, though. Boop all right. All right. We only got... Only got a single out there, but we got the runner to second. Uh, his Ray-Ban benefits the little hack. 0 for 2 in the game so far. And now uh, Richie Boom starts to show some signs of fatigue setting in. All right, it's okay. We've got one out. Runners at the corners. And, uh, and Richard Boom still holding strong. Yeah. Come on, Boomy. Come on, son. Come on. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. Just. I mean, you could take him out now, and his confidence will still be top business. Uh, there's a strikeout there from Boom. Here's Pink Capricorn. Batting zero for the season so far. Don't know if that's because uh, she's been horrible in every game, uh, or if this is her first game. Either way, horrible, horrible in the season so far. All right. Whoa! Oh, let's take a moment to appreciate that one. All right, I've appreciated it. All right, here we go. Come on, Rich. Dan, that one's gone to a really awkward place, and the roadies will score. Boo! Boo is the right answer. Is Gulag Fremantle the pitcher? I have a feeling they might sub him, and they do. Is Frank Tango coming into pinch hit? Uh, and he's good at hitting bad balls. Well, he's come to the right place for that to count. Runners on one and two. Boom is starting to flag ever so slightly. But he's got enough to get through this inning, surely. Terry Partizan makes the catch, makes the play, makes the inning salvageable. And uh, Frank Tango sitting down, being replaced by Sharon Mental, the relieving pitcher. Uh, who is a walker, pr prone to walking people. Well, that could work out poorly for her because I'm quite patient. Shandy Worthless next up to bat. As we uh, hit the bottom of the whatever inning. Seventh. Good. Shandy Worthless. Shandy Worthless. And that's a nice hit from Worthless. He'll get himself on base. I'd always sooner have a hit than a walk. But I will quite happily take a walk. Here's Cookie. 
Uh, she's only had a walk today. No hits so far from her. Ah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's a strike. What's going on with these pitches? I don't know. They're all quite genteel, though. It's true. Yeah, I saw it coming in, and I thought this is this is probably one you should swing at. You have to make your decision really early on. Here's flipping Chubbs, flaming Beaver. What a waste of space. Complete, hopeless, nice hit. Uh, Chubbs Beaver there with a base hit, but I mean anyone could have hit that one. Yeah, I mean that wasn't that wasn't complicated at all. Nah, no, simple. Here's Richie Yardline. Trying to build on his one single that he's had so far. We've got runners at first and second. And uh, we've had a score drought since the second inning, so it'd be nice to build on that. That's a good hit. And the bases, they are loaded. Ooh, here's Terry Partizan. And uh, she is in a heck of a good mood. The bases are loaded, Sherry, Terry. Terry, definitely Terry. Yeah. Uh, if you wanted it, this would be it. This would be the one to get. Yeah. Okay. All right, Terry, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two balls, one strike. There's strike two. Yeah. And that's good enough. It's a base hit, but it will get our score moving once more. Uh, taking the cushion back out to four. Here's Bernard Dunk. The, uh, another player who hasn't really done anything for us yet today. Okay. All right. But he does provide a heck, a heck of a lot of morale to the team just by being around. What a guy. Three balls in a row. And Sharon Mental's accuracy has dropped out of the floor. You should have hit that one. Yeah. Hit that one instead, though, and that's going to be another run. Bernard Dunk getting it in. This is good. This is all good. And here's Richard Boom, who's going to sit himself down. Uh, yeah. Hold on. They're changing the picture. Sharon Mentals are goner, and they're bringing in Neil Murph. Okay. All right. But I wanted to make a change as well, and I'm more important than you. Uh, right. Substitute Boomy. You've done well, mate. Success. Yeah, she is. She is a successful player. However, Benny Cheese. I do like that looks of Benny Cheese. Yep. He's not as contacty. No, but he's got the power. He does have the power. All right, let's give him a go. Uh, I mean, Coral Success has been really good for us so far, but uh, but I think the Cheese, if he manages to make contact here, is, uh, is a solid bet. Well, he made contact there, but it went foul. That yeah. one's inside. One out so far. The Cheese. Well, it's only a base hit, but the engine that is bases loaded is rolling once more. And another run for Bulldozer Power. Here's Valerie Hammock. She's already a solid prospect in today's game. But she can build on her... Hang on. I was going to say she could build on her legend. Yeah, she's ruined her legend there. We're getting everybody out. Shouldn't have swung at the first pitch. Should have just left it. Yeah. Benny Cheese sits down, and we're going to bring in... You, why don't you bring in a ghast? Because he's got awful. Yeah, but it, it saves your other pitchers. All right. All right. All right. Vaughn Cloth is around again for another go. One for three from his out bats. Uh, and he will be facing off against Tools of Ghast. Yeah. A woefully bad pitcher from whom we only need one inning. All right, Un unless he turns out to be fine, uh, or at least, I mean, he doesn't need to be good. The only thing he needs to do is not give up a ton of runs. Or, in fact, six, which these days, that's, I mean, you could say that that isn't really a ton. Worthless. Couldn't be bothered diving for it and gives up the hit. Well, what do you, what do you say about that? I say that I'm a bit disappointed, if I'm honest. Here's Christine Lemonade. One of three. Uh, another player is uh, played. Right. Ball one. Yeah. There's number two. Yeah. 
All right, and ball three. Tools of gas so far. The one thing he's good at is accuracy. Although uh, this this sequence of events, Cindy with the jump catch, beautiful work. And all of a sudden, that's changed the complexion on things entirely. A uh, runner on base with three balls in a row. It was looking like we could be facing a horror story, but now it looks like we're facing pretty much exactly the same situation. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. And Yardline's making a move. He couldn't get there straight away, which is unfortunate. Uh, it was a nice slide, but he didn't quite get close enough. And to be fair, our outfielders are lacking in a bit of speed. And therefore, you know, these things are going to happen. Um, yeah. Look, remember, this is an absolutely, completely horrible picture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, you know, you're, you're inevitably going to... Oh, flipping it. Going to give up a hit or two. Just chuck it down the chuffing middle, will you? Right, and we'll try and rely on the fielders to get things done. I think that's a mistake. They've just had a run. They've got runners on one and two. Uh, if Capsicum Disco ding this, dings this one over the fence, this game is in jeopardy. All right, Aghast, there you go. There's your challenge. Don't make this game in jeopardy, please. We'll just let some silence for a moment there. Really flipping, just put the chuffing ball in the strike zone. Yeah, okay, well, that one's fouled off. See if the change up does anything for us. I'm not optimistic. That's low. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I want a big jump, but it's not going to do anything, and we're going to give up at least one more run here. Uh, and that's, a, that's bad news. Yeah. Yeah, bad news. The lead now, only four for BDP. But that's kept us comfortable in the game so far. But we're going to see if this donkey can actually do any more pitching. I'm giving him one more batter. No, I'm allowing him one more hit. That's it. If you give up one more hit, son, you're done. All right, it's as simple as that. And when I say done, I don't just mean done. I mean, I'm going to look to trade you. I'm going to get you off the chuffing team and get someone who actually has some actual talent. Well, that one doesn't count, but it possibly gives up the run. No, it doesn't. They didn't go for it. All right, two outs now. Runners on second and third is Ray-Ban benefits. Uh, batting zero in the series season so far. But again, we don't know if she's in as a replacement or if she is a... Uh, just a terrible waste of space. There's strike two. Where do you want to put this one? I want to put this one inside unhittable. That's good enough. But it was obviously hittable because it was fouled off. The change up. There it is. All right. And someone just saved their career. Two runs there for BDP, though. No, for uh, Budget Roadies. Big pardon. Uh, and we're looking at Cindy Vapid, who is 0 for 4. She's in the wrong place in the lineup. Yeah, she is in the wrong place in the lineup. She shouldn't be batting first. Hey, Cindy got a hit. Go on, Cind. I think you can make it. I think you can make it. I think you can make it. It's a double. All right. Okay, good. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's, it's all... I think there is a there is a mental state that comes about when, uh, when a batter is in a particular position. Worthless, he's in the right position. Today, historically, he hasn't been in the right position. I think maybe moving someone like Richard Yardline to second in the uh, batting order. Maybe move Cindy to third, possibly fourth. Uh, and see if she can she can find her way back in. There's a walk for Worthless. And uh, things are going badly for this pitcher. Neil Murphy's not been in long, but he's already put runners on first and second. Oh, wow. Ah, Cookie Peaches Wallace is also a little bit off the boil in today's batting uh, campaign. But there's a hit there. So maybe I should just shut up. Because uh, that was fine. Here's the despicable Chubbs Beaver. Yeah, no, you can smile all you like, mate. But, you know, you still don't look trustworthy to me. 
No. Hit something stupid. We'll get everybody out. And gets a run. Bats in a run, and that counts for something. Uh, but uh, got two friends out, including himself. Because he's his only friend. Uh, here's Richard Yardline. Alright. I mean, actually, that might not have been a terrible outcome. Yardline there swinging at a slow ball a little too soon. And that will not do the trick. He's gone. BDP managing one more run and lead the game 8-3 to three as we head into the ninth. Pink Capricorn first up to bat. Got a run first time around. And based on the uh, hitting percentage, this is not their first game. Agast is going to sit down. Yeah. Because we got a closer. And his name is Quebec Spire. Yes, sir, Bob. All right, Quebec. Let's go. First one's a bit high. All right, okay. That's all right. That's okay. Take it easy. Second one's fouled off. Okay. Sinky curve. You know we like them. Not sinking enough, uh, but uh, dunks underneath it. And that's a goner. One out. BDP now two outs away from a win. Is the pitcher who will not be batting. Uh, they're bringing in Jethro Plainspotter in place. Uh, who's not in the best of spirits when it comes to confidence. But you never know. That might not, might not matter. Strike one. Sinky? No. Give, it, give him some more juice. Cindy! Dives underneath it. To be honest, she wasn't going to make it with her diving uh, uh, vertically there because you can't. F she doesn't have the ability to fly. So that was a that was a no-win scenario anyway. We got a runner on first now. Uh, we'll start this clown with the curve, and that one's fouled off. That one's not where I wanted it, but it counts. And then uh, from there to here. Whoa! What's up, 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 up. Could expire with a great pitch. And uh, and I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm rapidly becoming a... Bring on the spire. Yeah, shove the spire in them. That'll, that'll get them out. Two outs now. Runner on first. And they are leaning heavily on Christine Lemonade to, to keep them alive. In what is arguably a meaningless game this early in the season. But every game has meaning in the grander context of things. Cookie Peaches Wallace can't make it out there. That's to the fence. And this is a scoring pop opportunity. They opt not to take it, though. Uh, but we give up the double. Here's Joe Scott Dunn, who's, uh, who's coming in with just a single to his name in the game. Runners on two and three. Uh, Quebec still looking sturdy. That one is uh, fouled off. And this one, possibly for the ball game. The bat's broken, the ball's gone foul. It was anybody's guess what was actually happening there, but it happened. He, he hit that one despite it being extraordinarily high. Uh, definitely going for it, I think, is, is what we can say at this point. That one's outside. Uh, he went for it. Okay. Okay. How about this one? That's almost where I wanted it. That one's fouled as well. Making us work for this last out, and uh, and Quebec is starting to get a bit tired as he's coming up on 20 pitches. Honestly, there it is. The curve ball getting it done, and a glorious win for BDP, our uh, our easiest win so far, uh, with an eight to three final score and a running uh, an inning in hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing wrong with that. Can't complain. Two home runs for BDP. None for the roadies. That's nice. It's nice to know that we're not going to see home runs all the flame in time. Seven strikeouts for Richard Boom. Solid. Uh, one for Aghast, whose future I don't necessarily believe in, and, uh, and a pair for Quebec Spire. Uh, Venti Sank getting the loss. Your three stars of the day are oh, Shandy Worthless. Three or four from his at-bats. A home run and two runs batted in. Uh, and then Valerie Hammock and Richard Boom. We've got a manager moment. Someone has to give up their parking space. 
is it going to be a rooster views our best starting but second best starting pitcher or is it going to be valerie hammock uh yeah rooster sorry about that bruv but valerie's getting it done yeah nine cpu games to watch we'll watch them this time around let's give it a spin uh the sweaty marsupials against lingo blend is a close one lingo blend pulling it back at the end there for the win peninsula transport taking on the colonel space agency easy mileage for the agency nomads against the vuvu boys is a nomads victory vuvu boys still looking for their first fire chefs up against Failure wood hills uh was a, was a game colonel school looking strong against the pirates finish finish that one 10-4 uh, Wretched Minstrels up against Stardust of Human Resources, and the Human Resources just are all over the Minstrels there. Shady Palms now taking on the Sunshine Fun Bus. Uh, it's a Fun Bus victory. Cheerio Incorporated thrashing the Steganauts 5 0. Here come the Chroniclers. They're taking on the Picks Creek Miners. Uh, the Miners with the early lead and hanging on for the win. As we look at the charts, the tables, the scores, all of that business. Fire Chefs lead the way in the Bombastic, but they've got a game over us as we're in second, thanks to our glorious run difference. Grunt Auto Group also have two wins, as do Shady Palms. Uh, in the wood chipper, the Fun Bus are in the lead with three. Lingo Blend with a game in hand at the top of the Whoop Whoop over in Bad Company. It's Stardos of Human Resources, whose run difference is putting them in the top spots. Uh, Zesty has got the Beekeepers and Axemen still undefeated, but they haven't played another game since we last talked about them, so it doesn't really count. Back in the Sloganator, and it's Cheerio Incorporated now. Four wins, no losses. They're looking strong with a 21 run difference in their favour. Our next game is going to be against the Bongolia Sea Raiders, where we'll be seeing Zoltan Zoltan. Holy mackerel. Playing for the opposition. That's going to be drama. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe if you haven't already, because that's a thing. Catch you next time. Cheerio.